Positively, Jax, we want you to smile this morning as students across Northeast Florida get moving and raise money for heart disease. One local student has already raised thousands of dollars as part of the Kids Heart Challenge. Joining us this morning to talk about this, Jenny and Lila Vipperman and Amber Wilson with the American Heart Association. Good morning to all three of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so I want to talk to Jenny and Lila in just a little bit, but Amber, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about the Kids Heart Challenge? What's behind it? Why is it so important to your organization? Sure. So the Kids Heart Challenge has been around for 44 years. I participated in it when I was in elementary school and remember it um, through Jump Rope for Heart. And really, it is a way to inspire and encourage kids to get physically active. But also, we're going with the changing needs of our youth and our educators by really using this program to prepare our kids for success through both physical emotional um, and health well-being at an all-around approach, which is really great. So it gives them a way just to focus on uh, heart-healthy behavior as students and to pledge more, to be more physically active, uh, drink more water, and even do a good deed as well. Certainly. Starting early and $300,000 raised across Northeast Florida already, that is no small feat, and it's not done yet. Absolutely. So it goes on through the month of February. We have um, around $300,000 that's already been raised and around 125 schools participating in the First Coast region. So there are still more uh, dollars raised in Impact Company. We're extremely thankful for that and really happy and thankful for Lila as well. Absolutely. So Lila, want to bring you into this conversation. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming on. So you just wrapped up taking the challenge and you raised how much? Um, $8,345. Wow. <laughs> That's certainly a lot of money. So tell me about that. What makes it so important for you to do it? And, and how, what's the secret? How did you raise more than $8,000? Mm, I don't know. I think it's like just the way that I'm wired. Yeah, Mom, <laughs> you, can, you can help out here. <laughs> Absolutely. So Lila came home from school and asked me to donate to the challenge. And we had a conversation about raising funds and her parents matching. So she went out, created a sign, which you saw in the photo. Uh, we posted to social media and said we were looking to raise a thousand dollars, which we were matching. And we raised it in a matter of a few hours. We decided to up that to twenty five hundred dollars. And we raised that in just a couple of days. And uh, we decided that that was all we could match, but the money kept pouring in. So we were so proud when she raised over $8,300. Yeah, that's incredible. So to signing up to save lives, I'm sure you got some from family and friends, but did you find some, some strangers that are maybe new friends along the way? Yeah. Yes, we posted to social media and we had donations from friends and strangers alike. Yeah, so, so Lila, tell me a little bit about you. I mean, what do you do? What do you like to do? How old are you? I'm nine. I like to paint. Paint? Okay. Yeah, certainly. And and is physical activity important for you as well? Eating healthy, living well? You want to talk about the cookbook you just received for your birthday and cooking healthy? She likes to cook and she likes to eat healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, listen. I'm tired this morning too, so I know <laughs> I know a lot of us don't like to talk this early this morning, but I, I love hearing about it. And let's get back to the American Heart Association. So Amber, if there's people that still want to get involved, how long is this challenge running for? So the challenge goes through the month of February, again in around 130 school, 130 schools right now. So if you have an elementary school aged student in your neighborhood, in your family, friend of a friend, I would start by reaching out to them and asking to participate in their efforts. If you have a student uh, in an elementary school and you haven't heard about it yet, reach out to your school, make sure they're participating and ask to engage. Um, we have around 5,000 students on the First Coast that have signed up and that are participating. And so there's so many ways to engage through a, a youth in your area and around you. Wonderful. Well, a Amber, Jenny, Lila, thank you for your time this morning. Good luck to you. Let's keep raising that money. Let's save some lives and, you know, make people happy and healthy. Appreciate you this morning. Thank you.